welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today, bef well, before we start, let's talk about Crimathon. It starts on the 7th, so it's 11 days, 7th to the 17th of this month. And to celebrate, we're going to be sharing a lot of different books. So I have a haul in this video. I've been collecting books for a couple of weeks now. And I have um, quite a few different islands. Um... There's one dominant island, <laughs> um, but we have quite a few islands on here, so I'm happy to be able to share these books. Now, these books I intend on reading um, this month in June. Now, June, I try to dedicate strictly to Caribbean books, um, but I do have one. If you didn't know, I hope you guys go and check out my shorts so you will see what the subscriber pick was for June. That is the only book that is not um, Caribbean that will be on my TBR for this month. Now, let's get into these books. Now, I have my reading journal with me because I had to put down um, where the the, um, the author from. So you get an idea of if you want to um, explore other um, authors from other islands. So we're going to start with the group, the group read. So the group read is... The God of Good Looks, and this is Brianne McIver. So this is the group read, guys. It is going to be uh, what we're going to read as a group, discuss later on. The date will be shared. And I thought it would be fun. And this is a Trinidadian author. Um, this is her debut novel. She do have a short story collection that was released back in uh, 2019. So if you haven't read that, go check that out. And... Here we are, the cover, absolutely gorgeous, so we're going to get into this. Now, it wouldn't be me if I didn't get some kind of classic, or as far as classic I could get, because there are some modern classic on here, books that were um, um, released, I believe, in the 40s and the 70s, and I think there's one that's 85. It's so hard for me to think of <laughs> 80-something being a classic, but nevertheless, we're going to be talking about some of this. So the first one is A Palace of the Peacock. This is Wilson Harris. And this one is um, Guyana. This is Guyana. So this one I'm getting where it's, it's going up the stream in Guyana and look at this people looking for some a woman and there's things happening, some not so great things. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. But again, it's one of those short, sweet ones that you don't want to know too much because it's so short. Um, so, possibly this might be on, on the readathon week because <laughs> the size. <laughs> um, then we have Carl Phillips, and this is the pass, the final passage. And this, he is from, this was published back in 1985. He is from St. Kitts. So, I was like, oh, okay. And this one, is, it seemed like mix up on Blenda Guan. So it said, in her village of St. Patrick's, Layla um, Preston has no prospect, um, a young son and a husband, Michael, who seems to prefer the company of his mistress. So when her alien mother travels to England for medical care, Layla decides to follow her. So this looks like one of those find yourself kind of story, but Caribbean style. We're going to try this one. Um, the next one is, of course, from a fave, which is Jamaica Kincaid, and you know, Antigua. And then this one is See No, and then, and this one is, um, family drama, mother, father, two kids. And so I'm, I'm here for how she handles stories with family dynamic. So I'm actually excited for this. Again, not a long one, but... Most of her books are not long, but let me tell you, she know how to pack a punch. You guys know my favorite book last year was from her, Lucy. If you have not read Lucy, read Lucy. Lucy did something for me last year. It's just one of those books. Um, so yeah, um, looking forward to this. The next one is also from her, and it's at the bottom of the river. And this one was published back in 1978. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to get into this one. I believe this is a short story collection. I believe it is. I'm not 100% sure. But again, one of them small, tiny one. We can pick this up, dust this off an idea. This might be on the, 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 the Corbathon. The next one, <laughs> the title, Manasa, one of the words. And it says, How to Make Love to It Without Getting Tired. Danny LaFera. This is Haiti. Okay. We got, we got Haitian going on here. 
Um, apparently, this is a comedy satire kind of situation. But need to look a bit at that. But the, the title is very interesting, but it's supposed to be satire comedy. So I will read it and it's short. Yes. The next book is a book that was on the finalists for the International Booker, and that is The Gospel According to the New World. This is Maurice um, Conde, and this is Guadalupe. Guadalupe. I, I just think about it. I really haven't read anything from that particular um, country, so I'm here for this. This one, I, I, I get the sense of... Um, sorry about that. So... This one, of course, you see, there's some religious stuff going on here. Again, not a, a very clear one, but it just comes off very heavy. And I was like, okay, we're going to read this. It might not be really a summer read, but we're going to get into this. The only Jamaican that made it to the list <laughs> is Kai Miller. And this is nonfiction. And this is... Things that I have withheld, and this is one of, well, actually, the only Kai Miller book I have not read. You guys are uh, following me for a while. No, I absolutely love, I'm one of those people that was, like, first, first round that was reviewing this book before it, it kicked off. So, go check out um, August Town. It is, to me, one of his absolutely favorite, hands down, book that he read, um, he written. Um... There are about two more that I think is good. There's one that I'm going to share in a video um, with a, a, top, a certain topic. But he's amazing. I have yet to meet him. I don't know how. I miss him every time. But it's just funny. If you ever watch his video, he's very witty. Very. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to this. And uh, we will get into this one. This one. And this one, it says Sweet as Sugar. And this is a story, a short story collection. And this is... <coughs> she is of Cuban heritage, raised in Trinidad. So, let me know. The coffin spell I come from now since I opened all the windows. Yeah. Spring. Um, <laughs> anyway, so... I'm going to get into this. This is one that has not been out that long. Um, so I am going to definitely get into this. Plus, I don't, this, this, I think it's only two short story collection I have. So, and I always like to read June Kerber's a short story collection. So, between this one and Jamaica King Kane. So I'm going to get into this. Um, this is a new release also. Like I said, it hasn't been out that long. Then there's, um... Trinidad Wildfires. Sophie J, this is another family drama. This is um, family secrets being withheld and the pit the father says she wanna know what the family secret is. Um, this one just came out. It's a new release. It just came out on the 30th of May, so I haven't seen much of it, which I'm not, not um, surprised. But I do want to get into this one. It seems interesting. Then the next one, again, Trinidad. Trinidad! Trinidad is, is literally, when it comes to published book right now, Trinidad, <laughs> have it locked. <laughs> have it locked. And right after Haiti. I was like, where are my Jamaican people at? Where? But this, this is their year. Anyway, so this one is a YA romance. Of course, I'm going to forget a little bit of YA in this because I have not been reading any YA at all. I really don't read a lot of YA, but I try to read at least about two or three a year. Um, so I have not so far this year. But when the vibe is right, it does pick it up. Sarah Das, this is Trinidad and Tobago, and it's in the middle of Carnival. So I'm going to say, what? Yes. So I'm going to read this and um, share it. Tell you what it's about. It might be really, really fun because, again, it's set in Carnival. The next book I see everywhere. It is also another Trinity. Yep, Trinity, Trinity, Trinity. And it's one of those books that I have yet to really look at the synopsis to see what it's about. And I don't want to. For some reason, I just feel like because of the title, I just want to enter this blind, completely blind. Take me where you want to take me. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting for this book. And that is Hungry Ghost. Um, and this, yeah, like I said, Trinidad. 
and this is Jared um, Hussein and this is Kevin um, Gerard Hussein so this is um, one of those books that I'm just gonna just pop the page with them and start reading it because it's something about the title I don't know but to the book all everybody have this book and I really want to get into it so far I'm gonna hear nothing bad so that's a good sign but yeah uh, the next one is the author I met last year and they did not have any of her books out and I felt bad and um, so I wanted to read the first book the, the book she was um, um, she was um, publicizing at the time was the, the, set, the follow up to this particular book so I want to read this one first before I get into that one and that is Doors of the Stone and yeah I'm going to butcher her second her, 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 the last two names I'm not even trying I always never get it pronounce it right Dalma sorry <laughs> anyway Puerto Rico Puerto Rico now why I was fascinated by this author is because you don't get a lot of Puerto Ricans um, authors talking about Afro um, Afro Puerto Ricans in what well, Afro Latinas in the Caribbean experience during slavery period you don't get their story and in this is very fascinating how women were used as pretty much um um livestock in terms of breed up breed up the place yes so um i thought this would be interesting because it's just how she talks about the books and um and the discussion she was having i thought it was so healthy you did not see my last year i think it was brooklyn caribbean lit fest and she was there so i want to get into this it is a little bit of I don't know if, the, if this is going to be one of those books that you will read in a Curvathon thing. Because um, it's, 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 it's not that big, but I think it's, 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 but it's going to be read in June. So I want to get into this. The next book is a book I've been eyeing. Like, eyeing. And every time I say I'm going to read it, I never get to read it. And this one is Haiti. And this is What Storm, What Thunder. And this is Marion a uh, J A Chancy. So this is, um, I don't even know. You know, I don't even know. Um, again, another one I just didn't even look. <laughs> I just didn't even look. I just know. I think the word I got from people was powerful. So when you tell me a Caribbean story is powerful, and then it's Haiti, I just for for some reason. Haitian authors always impress me. Every book I picked up is just something about how they are able to tell story because I think the, their imagination is so wild and so um, interesting and I'm always finding their stories fascinating. So I just know powerful Haiti art and then she's Haitian. It's, it's going to be good. And then the last book that I am going to talk about is the author is of Caribbean heritage, but she's multicultural there, which means that she's milk, she's mixed. Um, and that is the river Sing Me Home, Eleanor Shearer. And this is a story that I'm currently reading. Okay, I'm far in this, I don't even want to talk about this book yet. Um, but just know I appreciate this. In such a different way than I thought um, so I would definitely when it's done review it this will be my first review for June um, I am thick in it and it is absolutely one of those books that I felt like it does have the slave narrative in it but it's one of those that felt that was just it's, it still has a feel-good moment in the mess of the the pain and anguish that was happening that's the best I'm gonna give you about this so and again um, the story it takes place in Barbados um, Guyana I'm currently in Guyana and then it's going to be take next into Trinidad um, this is a historical fiction and you know I'm a historical fiction gal so I'm ready for this so I was all in it and I just wanted to get this over with because it was just one of those bigger books and I felt like let me have this starting off in a month. I did start this off on the 31st, a day early. That's okay. That's why I'm so far in. <laughs> but I'm enjoying this a lot for 
um, one particular reason. Again, I will discuss this in a future video. That's it. Before I get some water, I'm going to cough for a minute. And um, I have ebooks, not a lot, but they're more on the Caribbean romance. Um, and I think I have one that's not. Um, so I will talk about those later because I think I might read one of them during the Caribbean. So I have not really said all the decided on all the books I want to read yet but just know it's going to be a mix of different things that I wanted to add I always do this I try to do at least six books um don't know about these because some of these are chunky but I do have some small ones so anyway let me know um if you read any of these books also let me know if you're going to be joining in on Caribbean what so let me know if um like what kind of books you are thinking of picking up for Curbathon, share, especially if it's not any of these, because again, we want to share some Caribbean authors so other people can look at the comments and maybe see a book they might be interested in reading. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.